Oh, this might be the last thing. Is starting is 21 versus 37 through 40 and 22. 1 through 20. <clears throat> Paul speaks to the crowd. As the soldiers were about to take Paul into the barracks, he asked the commander, May I say something to you? Do you speak Greek? He replied. Aren't you the Egyptian who started a revolt and led four thousand terrorists out into the wilderness some time ago? <clears throat> we thought he was Egyptian? Some guy from Egypt? Who led a revolt? Fall to a bunch of people out into the desert. <coughs> that probably being the Sahara Desert. I'm pretty sure someone knows the context and the history or event of you. Feel free to put it below. Anyway, Paul answered, I am a Jew uh, from Tar Tarsus. T A R S U S. That's still around in a way. In Cecilia, a citizen of no ordinary city, please let me speak to the people. After revealing the after receiving the commander's permission, Paul stood on the steps and motioned to the crowd. When they were all silent, he said to them in Aramaic. Paul got it. remember Pharisee. Really high education. Anyway. Probably or possibly Hebrew. Also in verse or also in chapter twenty two, verse two. Brothers and fathers, listen to my defense. When they heard him speak to them in Aramaic, they became very quiet. <coughs> Interesting. <clears throat> then Paul said, I am a Jew, born of born in Tyrus of Syria, but brought up by this city. I studied under Garamel. And was brought and was thoroughly trained in the law of our ancestors. Uh. I was just as zealous for God as any of you are today. I prosecuted the followers of this way to their deaths, arresting both men and women and throwing them into prison as the high priest and all the council can themselves testify, I even open operated letters from them, obtained letters from them to their associates in Damascus, and went there to bring these people as prisoners to Jerusalem to be punished. And he's going to be going over a little bit of his story. Summer. About noon, I, as I came near Damascus, suddenly a bright light from heaven flashed around me. I fell to the ground, and her voice say to me, <sighs> Saul, Saul, why do you prosecute me? I know it's me, not the church. Interesting. Who are you, Lord? I asked. I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are prosecuting. He replied. He, my companion saw the light, but did not understand the voice. 
of him who was speaking to me. What shall I do, Lord? I asked. Get up, the Lord said, and go to Damascus. There you will be told all that you have been assigned to do. My companions led me by the hand to into Damascus, where the brightness of the light bright had blinded me. The brilliance, yeah. A man named Ananias came to me as came to see me. He was a devout observer of the law and highly respected by all the Jews who Jews living there. He shouted stood aside beside me and said, Brother Saul, you received your sight and that and at that very moment, I was able to see. Then he said, The God of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will and see the righteous one and hear his words and to hear words from his mouth. You will be this witness to all people of what you have seen and heard. It. And now, what are you waiting for? Get up and be baptized and wash your sins away. While now, when I returned to Jerusalem and was paying at the temple, I fell into a trance and saw the Lord speaking to me. Quick, he said, "Leave Jerusalem immediately, because the people here will not accept your testimony about me." Lord, I replied. These people know that I want from went from synagogue to synagogue to another to impress uh, to imprison and beaten those who believe in you is in and when I and when the blood of you, of your martyr, and that is Exodus or witnesses. Stephen, who was Shed. I stood there going and giving my approval and guardian guarding the clothes of those who were um, killing him. Then the Lord said to me, Go and send. Go, I will send you your mm. 
far away to the Gentiles. Oh, I cannot be reading these when I sleep. 